Okay, I thought I would just do a quick integral today. We have something here. We have the integral from zero to pi over two, sine to the ninth x, cos to the seventh x, dx. Okay, and of course we could do this by the normal trig methods. We could strip out a cosine and then convert everything to sine and do a u substitution. But instead what I wanted to do is look at the beta function, particularly the form of the beta function for trig functions. Okay, so we have this formula here to calculate this, and you'll notice it's in exactly the right form. You get the right bounds. Um, we got a way to calculate the exponent. We need to just calculate z1 and z2. And this formula on the right is exactly the same as the formula we use for the beta function when we're integrating uh, from 0 to 1. One thing I want to do here to make this a little more easy to use for our situation is let's just take this 2 and divide both sides, and we'll have a half over here. So then all we need to do is we just need a z1 and z2 value and we can go right to calculating the solution. We're gonna say this exponent 2z1 minus one is equal to nine. So that's gonna mean z1 must be five. And then doing the same thing to find our z2 value. If 2z2 minus one is seven, then z2 is gonna equal four. So then coming over here, we're gonna have our half out front. We'll use these values. We're gonna have gamma of five times gamma of four. And then we'll add these in the denominator, so we're going to have just gamma of 9. What we're going to do to calculate our, our value there for the gamma function is we'll use this formula. For the gamma of n, we're just going to be looking at n minus 1 factorial. So we'll put that to use. So gamma 5 is going to be the same thing as 4 factorial. Gamma 4 is going to be 3 factorial. Gamma of 9 is 8 factorial. I'm going to write that one out as 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times... 4 factorial. That's going to allow me to cancel here and cancel here. 3 factorial is 6, so we'll cancel there. And then if we multiply this out, then we can multiply it out. 7 times 5 is 35, times 70 times 8 is 1 over 560. That's it. We'll stop it there. Just a quick video. Thanks everyone for watching.